Hello guys and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix Walkthrough Let's Play Proud Mode <sighs> on Mizzledyne Online. So in the last episode I said I was going to do something special for this episode and I am. So we are back here at Olympus Coliseum because, because a new tournament has opened up here. And if you come over here you can examine the fill cup. Look at these. Look at all of these guys we have to do. Huh. Sounds good to me. So, we want to go and talk to Phil, because we're competing in this tournament. Alright, so, talk to Phil, and he'll say, you know the rules, right? Which tournament do you want to enter? Phil Cup! How do you want to go about it? Enter together! Now, there's only ten rounds for the these particular cups. So that's pretty handy, because obviously there's no break in between, none of the enemies drop any HP balls, and you cannot use summons. So, Jungle Vice, so Soldiers, and Power Wilds. This will be nice and easy. Now, the way that this is set up, because you have to usually fight so many big groups of enemies, having that stun impact spell or ability is going to help you tremendously. Now, I would suggest doing the tournament... Uh, for the experience points, and that's what happens when you win. So cool. Also, if you noticed, that was from Final Fantasy VII, the thing that uh, Sora just did. So, when you see the green Requiems, beat them. And done with the second round. Alright. Next is Big Feet, which is Hammer Legs which are guard armor, basically, except they're the normal color that they are in the regular version. And, of course, Power Wilds. And a stun! Again, you want to take down these legs as fast as possible to help you out. And that's going to hurt. Good thing we have Cure. Now, when those legs start moving, you need to be running. And there's only one leg left. So, we'll be able... There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Next is Magic Alert. That was not what I meant to do. I thought I I forgot that I don't have Blizzard. 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 So this is another caster one. Luckily, casters go down super quickly. And I'm pretty sure guard does work uh, to deflect most of these guys' attacks. So obviously not the thunder. But it does deflect uh, these flame guys. Red Nocturnes. Next is Nightwalkers, which is a large body and five power wilds. We can do this. For this one, I would say focus on the large body, at least pay attention to where he is all the time, and take down the power wilds. And done. Next is Hard Hitters, which is a pair of gauntlets, blue rhapsodies, and shadows. Super, super, super easy. The gauntlets are going to be your main focus on this one. Those are the ones from basically the guard armor. Uh, again, you basically fight the guard armor in its entirety separately. Which totally just made sense. I, it did. So I would focus on the gauntlets. They don't have a lot of health, but they do do the most damage out of all of these. So let's focus on taking them down. And next is Indomitable which is a bunch of green requeems, which we need to take down in two large bodies. So this one's a little tough, because those green guys are going to fly all over the place and make it very, very difficult for us to actually target the uh, large bodies. But, like I've said, we need to take down those green guys. Actually, we were able to do that fairly easily. That might have been the easiest round. Next is Wildcore, which is Gauntlets, 
hammer legs and power wilds. So this is a lot of damage that can possibly come in here. So best thing to do would probably be to take care of some of the power wilds, especially if you're able to stun, and then the feet are obviously not something we want to deal with because those do a ton of damage. So I would kind of try to stay away from them, but be able to deflect them when they start. Don't forget that you do have guard. And Goofy leveled up and learned Lucky Strike, which is awesome. Now, I've actually changed my mind. I think the thing that you should focus on in this fight isn't actually the feet, it's the hands. I think the hands is what you really, really need to focus on. And you also need to be uh, able to get out of there whenever something bad starts happening. The, this fight is actually kind of challenging, uh, just because of the sheer amount of damage that's coming in from both the feet and the arms. So anytime you're starting to get even, I'd say around halfway, depending on your level, you want to be using Cure on yourself. But we were able to do it, no problemo. Next is the Shadow Battalion, which is an armored torso, yellow opera, and blue rhapsodies. There's eight Four yellow operas, four blue rhapsodies, and one armored uh, uh, torso. So focus on the magic users first, I would say. Uh, they're going to get in your way while you're trying to focus. But if by chance you get this to happen, where you get the torso on the ground like that, focus on the torso. In fact, we're just going to sit here and hit the torso, and it's going to spin, which is going to do a ton of damage. And down goes torso. And we win! That's it, the fill cup is over. That didn't take long. Like I said, that was going to be a really quick episode. You have earned a trophy, novice hero. That's for completing the fill cup. We are the champ! Alright, attain the power of the stars, learn magic spell gravity. Gnarly! Now we have, uh, I believe we have all level 1 spells. Never thought you'd do it. Not bad. Phil, you're just as stubborn as ever. Don't pretend you're not happy for them. Uh, now go! Now kid, you've still got a long way to go. The next round's starting soon. Next time it'll be the real thing. Now you can also talk to Phil again. And if you choose, you know the rules, right? Phil couple? Uh, Phil couple. Phil tournament. Uh, how do you want to go about it? You can enter together or enter alone, just Sora. Uh, entering alone as just Sora will get you a Mithril Shard, but it will also unlock a time trial uh, where you have to do the whole thing in under three minutes. And with doing that, it'll basically bring you to uh, around, I would say... I don't know. I don't think you can do it. I mean, you can do it at this level, but it's... There's no point. It's just you get an AP up for it, so not a huge deal. So that will do it for this episode. We're going to leave the Colosseum. We finished the Fill Cup. I told you guys it was going to be super quick, and it was. I didn't lie to you. Uh, and now we want to head to uh, our next little world that we're supposed to head to. So what you want to do is you want to warp drive to Traverse Town, and then we want to take this warp hole closest to Traverse Town. That's, that's what we want to do. So, let's do it. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, never give up. Never surrender.